Hi, my name is Jamil, and welcome back to another Data in the Wild episode hosted by Data Mini. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to the channel below and click the bell to turn on notifications and to be the first one to know every time that we upload a new video. Today, we're going to learn in Tableau how to add an all option filter in a string parameter. Why is this so important? Well, let's look into Tableau and check that out. So what happened here is that when you add a parameter, it doesn't include an option of all when you use a dimension to create that parameter. Now. Let's look at some of the default uh, filters from Tableau. So what I have here are three filters which I selected from show filter. So for example, if you go to any of these filters, like let's say category, and I click on show filter, I will get a filter identical to this where it contains the all option. So let's use, for example, order priority. If I do show filter, you can see what I did was that I am showing all the values that are within this dimension and it includes the all option. But if I create a parameter out of this filter and, and out of this filter, or let's say in this case, if I go to order priority, for example, and I go and do create and I click on parameter, you know, I'm creating a parameter using the values that are on this dimension. There is an advantage for that, right? Because when I do now parameter, it auto populates all the same values that you see here. And it actually includes the name and includes the word parameter. So now I know that this is a parameter. It also out of filled all the and populates all the properties. It also knows that it's a list of values. So it's very easy to create this utilizing the create from the dimension. So if you go to the dimensions again and you click on create, um, that will give you that option. Let's so like we can look at it again. If we go here and we do create parameter, now we have all this nice and um, already pro, um, out of out of populated for us. So we don't have to do it, right? But what about if we want to add that add um, option? We have to click here at the bottom and we will do all and this is the cool thing about this that now i can make this all the display identical to this ones to the default so i can do like this i can make it identical like this and now i can click ok and now if i go here to parameters i can do show parameter and let's bring this parameter here and look at that. The all is at the bottom. So let's look at this. Think about this. What do I want to do this parameter? If I already have this filter, well, here is the reason. Let's look at this one on the top. So region, it includes a null value, right? And also, what if I don't want my users to have this no value as an option. So the idea of creating a parameter is that it's going to give you more opportunities to customize that specific filter for your clients or for your users, right? So by using the parameter as a filter, you can customize, you can do uh, other things that are not available by the uh, regular show filter default uh, from Tableau, right? Um, the, this, these are the filters that have less uh, opportunities for you to do some customization. Also, as you can see, now I have this edit parameter and I can take this all and move it all the way to the top. And now when I click OK, it's actually on the top. So it's identical to this one, right? Um, so we can see that it's the same order. 
everything is the same, right? So now, what if I want to, for example, maybe I want this all to be instead of all overall, or I wanted to make it a, a, a very different than what, I, what it's just going to give me here in this order priority. So there are instances where you want to use the a parameter to filter your visualization. Um, so what about now, what happened with this parameter is that um, it just doesn't work by itself, right? We need to create a calculation to make it work. So let's go to the next step to see how that works. So here I have my sales. And in order to see how this works, I'm going to bring in the same field um, dimension called order priority to the rows. Now I have the same ones during all the values that are available. But I want to have the opportunity to filter this however I want, right? And if I go back to the parameter that we created and we do show parameter and we have this parameter here, I'm going to move it here so you can see it better. Um, so this parameter that we created, if we uh, select any of these options, it doesn't do anything, right? But what about um, what happened now is that I have to create a calculation to tell this parameter and to tell Tableau, hey, how do you want, how can you filter this specific visualization that I have here, these bars that I have here for order priority. So to do that, we need to create a, cal a calculator field. And there is two ways you can create this calculator field. They're exactly the same. You're going to get the same, but I just wanted to show you two different ways. Um, the best one is the one on the first one here, dimensions to be filter equals parameter or parameter equals all. Another way that you can look into this is if the parameter equals all, then true. Else, if the dimension to be filter equals parameter, then true. Else, false. And so how does this work? It's because in, in both cases, it's going to be true. And the reason is because Tableau will be looking at a is the selection in the parameter equals the value that I have available in that dimension. And if it's this, if it if it matches, then it will filter this by, let's say, critical, critical equals critical. Right. But if it doesn't, then what it's doing is saying, oh, it doesn't match any. So give me give them all. I give give me all of them because it doesn't match any of those. So let's create that. So we can do like order priority um, filter. OK, so if we do the dimension, which is this one order priority as the one that we want to filter equals the parameter that we created or the parameter equals all. And the parameter equals all is the a new value that we added to the list of options in the parameter, right? Or the list of values. Um, so now if I click OK, the last steps is uh, you can see that is the Boolean uh, calculation. So this we want to add here to the filter and select true. So in this case, um, we want to say false, right? And let's create, let's go this and show filter. And if we go here and we do this, we can see that it doesn't work. Oh, why is that? Hmm. Let's look. It's very interesting, right? It's because you see, this is very important. I did it on purpose. It has to match because it has to be true on both sides. Okay. So let's do this. Let's make this all. And now we can like apply. And look at that, it still is false. Why? Because I need to make it a true. Remember, it have to be true when you put it here in the filters. 
And now if I go critical or high or low, it will give me all of that. And then if I go all, it will give me all them together. So now the all works great. So we're almost done. So how can we explain what's happening? Why when I had a all, all capital letter, all A, L, L, did it not work? Well, because what is happening is when the users select all in the parameter, the formula returns true. The word all is irrelevant. You can you can create any word, you can put anything you want there, but on both sides, it must be true. Because if not, it's not gonna work. That's when I have to go back and change the all, they have to be identical in the calculation to the same one in the parameter value list, right? So what this is doing is that effectively cancel out the filter and returns everything. So it means that it, that it will return all the values. Now, as a summary, the most important to remember is to use this calculation um, that dimensions to be filter equals parameter or parameter equals all. And then don't forget, you have to drag that calculator field into the filter shells and select true. Well, I hope that you're enjoying, uh, you enjoy this, um, new tips and tricks uh, about how to add an all option filter to a parameter. Thank you. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please comment below. Don't forget, subscribe to know when we are posting new videos. And thank you for watching.